Hi guys, welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Oof, wow, that's that's a very bright light. So today we're talking about the Mammoth Grips for the HP Refurb G2, because of course, we all want the best of immersion as possible when we're in virtual reality. Let's go. So in the previous video, we spoke about all the various different accessories which are currently available for the HP Reverb D2. So do go and check that out to, you know, get to know about what's out there. And also I had reached out to you in asking you what kind of knuckle grips can we use for the controllers? Because as far as I'm concerned, they're really not the best of controllers. And I did a video about this also. So do go and check it out after this video too. And you guys have responded really, really well. It was really awesome to see all your various different replies and we're gonna go through them so that we can you know, share what you had to say with the 6,100 other community members on the VR Essentials channel. So it seems that you guys have unanimously said that Mammoth are really the grips to go and get for the HP Reverb G2. And since you've said that, we've actually reached out to them through the Discord, which you can go and join as well, to ask them to send us some of their products for a proper review. So do make sure you are part of the notification squad so that you know you don't miss that video after you subscribe and you get notified in your feed as to when you upload different videos, which by the way, VR Cover are sending us there on the way some of the official you know, replacement interfaces as well, the silicon one. So again, we're gonna be posting this video you know, probably in the next week or so. So as I'm gonna read your comments, I'm also gonna provide you some tips as to use them the best for your controllers because personally, we used to own a pair for the Oculus Quest before I sold my Quest. So I know that the products are actually pretty good already. So Portable Freezer said, by the way, cool name. People said in Reddit that the Ogmamo grips were better than the Grip 2 that had reverb support, but now Grip 3 is out and it looks good. I hope you're right, but haven't heard from a credible source if they fit perfectly. So this is gonna be something to, you know, we're gonna have to find out more about. And by the way, if you are gonna be using knuckle grips, try not to, you know, there's a strap that you're gonna have here on the outer part of your hand. Make sure it's not too tight because it will actually cut the circulation of your hand, so that can be quite dangerous. But also, you know, if you start using them for more than a week or two, you're gonna start seeing that your hand is actually going to start hurting and you're gonna go, mm, what's happened, why is that? Because it's not so sudden, it takes time. And that's because the strap is basically too tight on your hand. So if you do use Mamma grips or whatever other grips that you decide to use, make sure it's just snug and not tight on your hand. DCT223, hi there said Mambo Grip 3 work with Reverb G2 controllers. So another one who agrees for Mammut. Now RF didn't go with Mammut. He said he went with ProTube VR, do grips for the G2 controllers. I got a set this week and I'm not disappointed. So perhaps you can go and check those out as well and see whether, you know, you think it's more suitable. Now Jacob Marsh left quite a lengthy detailed comment, which I think is really awesome. He said, Mammut grips three, seven out of 10. It made a huge difference for me, especially in games where you thrash about a lot. Fits the controller well and firmly, helps me ignore and forget the controllers and get more immersed in the game. Now, this is exactly what we spoke about on one of the previous videos, where it really makes it difficult to throw things in games using the current controllers due to the ergonomics and the design. And also, if you're gonna grip something, you know, with a bit more pressure, where, where the battery cover meets at the top, it feels like it's about to you know, crack or open, I don't know, but it just doesn't make it feel super comfortable. He goes on to say, and I quote, without them, I was always at least a little aware of the need to keep holding on to the grips. It's a distraction that you might not notice until it is gone. However, there are some downsides that he says, it seems designed for larger hands when I have a tight fit. I can't easily reach buttons because my hand are somewhat pulled away from them. So great for Beat Saber, not for shooters with my small hands, but as a hack, it's good enough. I think it would be better with more firm fit strap that can go on both sides of the knuckles to keep everything from sliding over your knuckles and off. Overall, very worth it though, but could probably use some tweaking. So in the previous video, we also spoke about VR Brothers replacement strap. And because they haven't sent us one of the products and we're not really waiting for one of it. So we try to reach out to you and ask you whether, you know, you felt were good as well. So you guys left plenty of comments. So if you're curious about this replacement strap, go and read out some of the comments because I think they'll be pretty useful to you before you decide to make your purchase.